Tappert decline is an emerging disease of soybeans in Tennessee. Symptoms of Tappert decline are often similar to other soybean diseases. Therefore, proper identification of this disease is crucial. Symptomatic plants will exhibit yellowing of the leaves in the lower canopy at growth stages ranging from V6 to R6. When expecting the lower canopy, also look for plants nearby that may have died prematurely. The most well-known indicator of taproot decline is the presence of stromata. Also known as dead man's fingers, these structures can be found growing at the base of the plant or on leftover crop debris from previous growing seasons. Make sure to pull up the entire plant in order to examine the roots. Diseased plants will have rotten roots and the taproot may break off at the soil line when pulled up. Use a knife to split the stem and check for browning of the vascular tissue and white mycelial growth in the pith. If you suspect your soybeans have taproot decline, make sure to contact your local extension agent. You can search online for UT Extension office locations and find a list of county extension offices in Tennessee. Select the county that you live in, and from there, you can find the hours and address of your selected extension office. To recap, Tappert decline is a new soybean disease in Tennessee. Make sure you know what to look for. Yellowing of the leaves in the lower canopy. Stromata growing on crop debris or at the base of the plant. Rotten roots, browning of the stem tissue, and white growth in the pith. If you suspect taproot decline, contact your local extension office. And for additional information on taproot decline, check out utcrops.com 